Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. When theta is real, find the range of the function f theta defined as sin theta minus 1 divided by cosine theta minus 2. The most natural and general step would be straight up using calculus, but this particular problem is solvable without calculus. Instead, I will start with this question. What is the geometrical interpretation of this problem? Let's take a look at the way f theta is defined. Of course, this is a rational function mixed with some trigonometric functions. But we can also argue that this is the expression for the slope. That is, f theta is the slope of the line connecting points cosine theta comma sine theta and 2 comma 1. Next, let's take a look at this particular point, cosine theta comma sine theta. Obviously, this is a moving point. As theta changes, the point also changes, but this point moves in a special manner. Consider a unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1. Some of you may have learned that any points on this unit circle can be parameterized as cosine theta comma sine theta. This means that cosine theta comma sine theta is the point that can move along the circumference of this unit circle. Therefore, the meaning of this function f theta is the slope of the line connecting any points on the unit circle in point 2 comma 1. And we have to find the range of this slope. Here, the minimum value of the slope is kind of obvious. The slope has a minimum value of 0 when the point on a unit circle is 0 comma 1. What about the maximum value of the slope? Well, as you can infer from the graph, the slope becomes maximum when the line connecting two points is another tangent to the unit circle. So let m be the slope of the line when the line becomes tangent. Generally, in order to find the value of m, you require some calculus. But for this particular problem, we can find the value of m without calculus by taking advantage of the property of a circle. First, let us find the equation of the line passing through point 2 comma 1 with slope m. This is pretty basic knowledge on linear functions, and the equation is y minus 1 equals the slope m times x minus 2. So we have mx minus y minus 2m plus 1 equals 0. Now let us think about what happens when this line is tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared equals 1. In that case, the distance from the center of the circle to the line is equal to the radius of the circle. And it is this property that allows us to find the value of the slope without using calculus. Here the center is 0, 0. So using the distance between a point and a line formula, we have absolute value of x1 and y1 are both 0 in this case, so we only have the value of c, which is minus 2m plus 1, divided by square root of m squared plus 1, and this must be equal to the radius of the circle, which is 1. So we have absolute value of minus 2m plus 1 equals square root of m squared plus 1, this equation looks complex, but all we have to do is to square both sides, then both the absolute value sign and the square root sign disappear. So we have 4m squared minus 4m plus 1 equals m squared plus 1. So 3m squared minus 4m equals 0. So m times 3m minus 4 equals 0. Therefore, we have m equals 0 and 4 over 3. These are the slopes for two cases where the circle and the line are tangent. Therefore, for an arbitrary point on a unit circle, meaning that for an arbitrary value of theta, the slope, which is f theta, can have the value ranging from here to here. So we have the range f theta is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 4 over 3. And that was all for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another video.